All right, just before, um, before I'll let you guys ask questions, just remembering today, 9-11, um, obviously we're playing the red bandana game. It's nice that we're playing it in the week that it is 9-11 um, to honor all those, but obviously our thoughts and prayers are with those who've been affected, um, lost lives, the heroes. Um, it's appreciated, not forgotten. And it will be an honor to wear those jerseys again this week. So go ahead. Are you guys doing anything in particular today? No, what, what we do is we spend in the off season, we spend a whole week and we teach our players. Um, we talk to our players about 9-11, about Wells, about the red bandana game, and we show them the video. We have a workout dedicated to it so we can spend the proper amount of time on it rather than in game week when it's so rushed with the game plan and everything's kind of minute by minute. We can do it right so when we get to this point, they understand. Um, they understand the importance of the red bandana game, reminds them of what happened on 9-11. Um, and, and obviously, we teach them about Wells and others and why we wear those jerseys. You know, It's not just to put on a, a, a new look. It's way bigger than that. And to do it justice, we, we do that in the off season. Just talk about the step up in class now, just cleaning up. Yeah. Um, Florida State. Yeah, Florida State, obviously, what are they, three right now? Uh, certain, certainly could be one or, one or two, depends on who you ask. Um, I think the biggest thing, one, Coach Norvell does, does a good job. I have a lot of respect for him. Uh, I think he's a good person and he's a good football coach. Um, they, they're, they're as deep as they've been. Um, if, if you look at their D-line, their D-ends, I mean, you know, they've got four guys who can go interior. They got four guys that can go. Um, they're deep. They're deep at wide receiver, as deep as they've been. Every time you turn on the film, there's a new guy who looks just as big and just as fast. They got depth at running back. Um, their old line returns most of their players. And then the quarterback. He's just gotten better and better. Um, if you turn on the tape from when we played him two years ago, he was young. Um, then he got better, and now he's probably one of the best players in all of college football. It's a very talented roster. What just jumps out to me is the depth that they have. And it's almost like they overwhelm these teams. You watch the LSU game, and it's a game in that first half. I mean, it's a tight game. And LSU dropped the punt, and LSU failed to score in the red zone when they could have scored. Um, but then they overwhelm teams with their depth and their speed. And as they roll guys through, they have a lot of talented players, and they do a good job using them all. That, that's the biggest thing I see, Rich. Um, but offensively, the receivers, the running backs, the quarterback, I mean, it's, it's a great football team. One of the best in the country. Maybe the best, maybe the best team that I've seen um, in a long time. Does playing a kid like Sluka kind of help with him, or they completely different? They're different. Um, you know, certainly from having to tackle a quarterback yeah. that's going to run around. Yeah, the different team, uh, different challenge. So... No, that, that's what I saw. I mean, I, I saw it pretty clearly. I had a lot of, I had a lot of time to think about it because we were in that rain delay for two hours. So I pretty much, when I spoke to you guys after the game, I pretty much had the game played in my mind about ten times. So I saw it really clear. Um, some of them, you know, others. There's no way you can't do that. And I showed the team every one of them, and it was not a very fun meeting to be in. And they understand that you can't do that. Or they, like I said, I, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't just speaking out of the moment. I meant it. They won't play if that happens again. They're not, it's not gonna, we're not going to do that. Um, if you're blocking a guy hard, really hard, and you're giving everything you have, and you know, you're just on the line, you push him out of bounds, if, if, if you take a shot at a guy who's already clearly out of bounds, it's, that's no respect for your team. And that's how I felt. Um, you know, your hand gets caught on a face mask because you're going hard. If you take a and you rip a guy, that's that's not how it can't be like that. So you got to look closely at the film and see what they were. Um, and I looked hard at all of them. I mean, the false starts really hurt us at the end of the game because we would have we wouldn't have even been in a we should the game guys again. There's no respect to that team. That game minimum, in my opinion, it should have never come down to that. And that's third and twenty. We're up ten. It would have been fourth and thirty. 
we're off the field. All of a sudden, now we're up 17. They didn't stop us yet, right? Now you're up 17, and the lightning delay is not it doesn't it doesn't matter. But we didn't do that, and it could have cost us a game. So we need to learn from it, and that's why I spoke so passionately like I did. And as I start thinking about it again, it's probably going to be the same. And I addressed it hard, and we handled it in practice. And going forward, we clean that up. Like I said, we're a good team, and we'll play well, and we'll get better and better. What's the running back situation right now? Um, I haven't met with the trainers yet. I know Pat was in a boot after the game, which you guys saw. Uh, Broom will be back this week. So we'll have Broom back, Barfield, um, Kai. Obviously, Kai had a really good game. Yeah. Um, and, and hopefully Pat. I mean, I just I don't know. How much did it swell up? How does he feel today? Today's our off day, so I haven't seen him. We just got to take a look at how he feels. So uh, the good news is Broom will be back for numbers. Um, the bad news is you, you'd love to have Pat playing in this game. I hope I hope he can. Drew, Drew mentioned that he, he Kai really gained the respect of the offensive line, especially on that one uh, play where we took three guys like seven yards. Just talk about you know what hard running does for an offensive line. I guess you know. I mean, the, those guys those guys love that. Yeah. Those guys are putting their faces on people and double teaming guys and single blocking guys and driving them down the field. And then all of a sudden they look up and the pile's moving forward, not backward. I mean that. That's just probably not the old line. That's probably our whole team. Yeah. I mean, that you could feel the excitement on those runs. Um, and, and it's I, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys or I said it in front of the team meeting. Um, Kai was fourth on the depth chart going in to the week one. And look, that's, that's why for, for a young player, you, you want to you keep working and you want to keep your mouth closed and you just you never know when your opportunity comes. And it did, and he made the most of it. But that brings juice and it brings momentum to the whole team. I mean, that kid played hard, really hard, and he ran well. Uh, Thomas starting Saturday? Yes, Thomas will start Saturday. Psychologically, what's it like going from a game no one expects you to lose to a game no one expects you to win? Um, that would be a good question to ask the players. We did. I mean, th you did ask them that question already? Yep, the exact one. What, what did they, who'd you ask? Uh, Vinny? Donna. Who? Donna. What did he say? Uh, what did he say? Well, him and Andrew both, you know, it was one of those it's a big game, but we can't make it no better be a bigger game. Said like a coach. Um, look, let's let's. Th this is a really good team we're playing, like really good team. Um, uh, there's many people that think this is the best team in the country. We've played number one in the country. We've played number two in the country. I think one year we played them back to back weeks. Um, it is going to be a challenge. We have to do our work as coaches. We got to. We got to do everything we can to give our players a chance to win this game. Then we got to go execute it at a very high level, um, and I mean that's why you play the game. So let's put in the work this week and and, and go go after it hard on on Saturday. There's a high level of respect, but you got to go play the game. Um, both tight ends caught a touchdown the other day. How important is it to get those guys even more involved? Yeah, I just you could see their excitement. I mean, George came running off the field. It, it's good because. He's been working real hard, and I know he had the drops in the first game, and I know that was important to him. I kind of felt like he was squeezing it extra hard. Uh, but he's blocked really well. I was excited for him. And then Jeremiah didn't play much in the first week, and truthfully, we probably should have played him more. Um, that's one of those in the first game. Not sure all of a sudden you look up, and he's only got like 10 snaps, but he deserves to play more. He's a good player, and I was really happy for him. They reviewed it, and it looked like he scored to me, and I was fired up for him. A little more about Liam. He's been pretty clutch again. Also against his uh, hometown team, Holy Cross, it's felt pretty good for him. Yeah, um, you know Liam hit a rough spot in uh, training camp where I think he had a little bit of a confidence issue, and then all of a sudden, like one week left, he hit a switch, and I mean he's crushing the ball right now, and he's confident, which makes me really confident, and um, he's done a really good job. I mean the ones he's hitting now, I mean those those would be good from quite some distance, which helps. Because now we can play the we can play the game a little bit different. It's not like you got to get inside the twenty five yard line. Um, you know now that thing's getting closer to the thirty, which which really helps because you you got to get points. You can't go down there and and all of a sudden you're thinking about everything's four down territory or do I have to punt? Um, so it's really helpful. I have a lot of confidence in him and a lot of respect for him. He's a tough kid. Back to Thomas again. I was just looking at it. no interceptions, no sacks, and two hundred and seventy all purpose yards. In his second, his first start, which is, yeah. I guess what's the ceiling of him? I, I think Thomas' the ceiling is really high. I mean, he's got to manage the game. He's got to take what we give him. He's got to learn. He's got to grow from each game. 
he's got to know when to run. Um, he's got to know when to get down. He's got to know when to get the extra yards. Um, he's got to distribute the ball and go through his progressions. And then he gives us the ability to have a quarterback run game. Um, it was the first game he started since high school. So we're, we're just learning a lot about Thomas, right? I mean, we've been around him now since he got here really May, June. So we're, we're learning about him as we watch him play and what does he do, do well? What do we need to get on him about? What do we need to teach him? Um, and really getting to know him as a person. So I, I think he has a really high ceiling and I'm excited to see where that can go right now. How is Emmett? How is Emmett kind of handled all this so far? Emmett, Emmett's been great. Um, I saw Emmett, I watched Emmett right before the game. He went up and kind of embraced Thomas. He was a good teammate on the sideline. Um, he was locked into the game plan and, um, and he's ready to go. I, I meant what I said, um, one of you guys asked me after, would we see Emmett again? We will. Emmett's a really good player and I have no doubt and I have confidence in Emmett, I do. Um, and I know that's not an easy thing to go through right now and I think he handled it incredibly and I give him a lot of respect and credit for that. And then we'll be ready. I know that. You got one more? No. Okay. Thanks, everybody. All right, thanks, guys. We'll see you on Wednesday. Thanks for your time. What, what players do you have? Uh, Drew Donovan. and Donovan. Yeah. Oh, you already got them today. Yeah, Donovan wanted to get to yoga at 11, so we've got the players in before you. Thanks.